guys, it's Gretchen, and welcome back to my channel. It is that time of the month again. As you can tell, Stitch Fix. Woo! So yes, it is time for my February 2021 Stitch Fix. I was really bad again this month, and I forgot to ask for things specifically. So this month I had a different stylist. This month I have Lindsay. So Lindsay this month sent me a few things, and I do like them. But it's one of those situations where it's like, once I saw it on, I'm like, guess this is why we try on things, because they may look good on the hanger, but then when you put them on, you're kind of like, eh, or sometimes the other way around, but not in this case. So this month, Lindsay sent me a pair of shoes, a dress, two tops, and a pair of pants. Looking at this stuff, this is the kind of stuff that I would normally wear. It's just we'll get into it. So I do think I am gonna be keeping one item from this fix. I'm kind of on the fence about it just because of another item that I've gotten from Stitch Fix recently, but I'm gonna save this one item for the end and I'll just go through the other things that I'm not keeping first before we get there. So the first item are these boots. These boots are by the company Violet and Red and they are the Samara Hiker with plaid collar. So these boots are exceptionally cute and something that I would most definitely wear. However, they are $99. And while I do have shoes that are well over $100, I don't need another pair. What I do love about these are the plaid. I love the laces that it comes with. I love that it is a zipper side. So you don't actually have to undo the laces. You just undo the side and zip them up. I would love to keep these, but the price is really, really scaring me. I also have a pair of boots very similar to these that I got from Target for way cheaper than $99. They don't have the plaid, but like, is the plaid worth $99? No. I do really enjoy these. I think they're cute, but they're also not something that I could wear year round because I am very particular about patterns that I wear at certain points in the year and red plaid is just not going to cut it in spring and summer. But whereas the boots that I have from Target are just solid black without the plaid, also have a zipper right here on the side and I could wear them spring and summer. I don't mind these as an item. I mind their price. The price was just is just too much. I just couldn't justify paying $99 for a pair of boots that look very similar to ones that I already own aside from the plaid at the top. So these are going back. They are very cute. They felt pretty comfortable. It's not like they add any extra warmth or anything like that for winter time, which that I could totally understand. If there was like some kind of insulation in here and it was specifically meant for like hiking or winter time or something like that. And they are called Samara Hiker. I would not hike in these. Next is this top from Bobo. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. It is the Eldon Cozy Cut Out Knit Pullover and it retails for $54. This top, I do like the cutout. I like the neckline, I like the cutout. Kind of hard to see, but you'll see it in the try on. There it is. Peekaboo. It's very soft, but my God, did it make me look old when I tried it on. This is one of those ones where on a hanger, I'd be like, oh, that's really cute. And then once I put it on, I'd be like, oh, I look like the added 10 years to myself. That's not what I'm going for. I don't mind the pattern, like the, the leopard, the like light leopard print pattern. I don't know what it is about this, but this just reminded me of someone who's older than me. Don't want to like offend anyone by saying that, but it is not something that 30 year old me would wear. No matter how I say this, it's going to sound bad, but that's just how I feel. This top made me look way older than I am. And that's not what I want clothes to do. I will say it is so soft. This would be such a cute top to like just lounge about in, do some chores, go out or something like this. I could even see wearing this to work because it is, you know, it covers you up and stuff like that, aside from the little cutout, but the cutout doesn't go far down. It's a cute top on the hanger, just not on me. It also has a kind of weird smell. Does anyone remember the department store Hex from years ago? Like my, that's my childhood right there is Hex. It just kind of reminds me of that. Like just department store smell. None of the other clothes I got have that smell. Next are these jeans from STS Blue. These are the Ellie Skinny High Rise Jean and they retail for $49. So a pretty good price for jeans. I love me a pair of black 
skinny jeans, especially high rise. I don't care what TikTok is saying about no more side part or no more skinny jeans. I'm gonna wear my side part and my skinny jeans as long as I want. Forget you, TikTok. Can't tell me otherwise. These were just basic black skinny jeans which I own several pairs of, and I don't really need any more. Also, you all know how much I love jeans that are distressed, or as I think we've determined, destroyed is what I'm looking for, not distressed. Distressed has like a little bit tears and stuff to it, whereas destroyed are just like, why are you paying full price for a pair of jeans when half of it is missing? That's how I refer to the type of jeans I'm looking for. As you can see in the try-on, there is absolutely no destroyed or even distressed look to it. They are just very basic, blah, black jeans. Also, I was a little disappointed. I'm not sure I've ever gotten something from this brand before, but the belt loop right here, and it's only one of them, and I'm sure it could easily be stitched, but it's like legit on its last stitch. Like if I pulled too hard, it would rip off. Yes, that's something that's easily fixable, but like I don't want to pay for quality that is already not holding up. So nothing wrong with these jeans. Like if you don't own any black skinny jeans, this would be a good option. I just own a lot and I like a different look to them, the destroyed look. Next is this pullover from Evolution by Cyrus. It is the Lena V-neck pullover and it retails for $64. Again, this is another one where on the hanger, I'm like, I absolutely love this. I love the color. I love the v-neck aspect to it. I don't actually own many v-necks now that I think about it. So I, I loved that this was a v-neck. This is a very thick sweater, kind of hard to tell, but it is. It's very soft, but then when I put it on, it gave that boxy feel to it. And if you've been following my Stitch Fix videos for a while, you know how much I hate that boxy feel. So despite the fact that it has so many positives about it, like this color, oh, I love burnt orange. It just made me feel like a box when it was on. I wish I could get past that because so many things I feel like make me look like a box. And I wish I could just get past that dislike, but I can't. Also the fact that this was the next highest thing besides the boots, like $64, like the pants were less than this. Usually pants are way more expensive. So that was a little, off-putting. I don't know if it's just how it's like tapered that gives that look. It's very loose fitting through the middle and then all of a sudden it comes down and tapers to the bottom and it's got like a band. Very stretchy by the way and incredibly stretchy. It does have like this double pattern for a sweater that had so many positives it was just a no for me which stinks. So this final item I am leaning towards keeping it but as of me recording this video, I don't know if I will. I'll tell you the main reason in a second, once I introduce it. It is the Sky Cowneck Hachi Knit Dress. This is a cowneck right here. And it retails for $48. So it's actually the cheapest thing in this box. I really enjoy this because I love gray, first of all. Love the color gray. I love the cowneck aspect to it. It is very soft as Market and Spruce often puts out very soft things. It is a great length for me to wear to work, which is fantastic. My holdup is the fact that last month when I bought everything at my fix, there was a very similar dress. It was cow neck and it was the same length. And the only difference is that it was blue and gray striped as opposed to solid gray. So it's like, why do I need two of a very similar dress just in different colors? This one is definitely softer. Than the other one. I still, I love the other one. Obviously I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't love it. This one I could see myself wearing more than the other one, just because it's a solid color. I just don't feel like I need two of very similar dresses. Now the only thing I can say about this is that I would be more inclined to wear like black shoes with this one. Whereas with the navy and gray one, I'd probably gravitate toward more like topes or neutrals and I have way more black shoes than I do topes or neutrals. So I just feel like I'd get more use out of this one. I'm torn. So it's like, why do I need two of a similar dress? But I like this one, but I already bought the other one because it was last fix. So I don't know. I'm leaning towards keeping it, especially since it is the cheapest thing in the box. And I could just see myself getting good use out of this, especially at work once we're back in the office, because right now we're working from home. So it doesn't really matter, but I can see once I'm back in an office setting, this would be a great dress. I just love the softness of it. It's very nice. 
Mark and his Bruce always make soft things. Very torn about that one, but I'm leaning towards keeping it. So everything in this box came to $314. It's a very expensive box. I'm pretty sure the boots did it. I mean, they're roughly a hundred of that final cost. But alas, I am not keeping everything. If I do buy anything, it'll be the dress, which is $48, which is the cheapest thing. And this is fix number 47. We're almost at fix 50. That's just, wow. I'm almost at 50 fixes. That's something. So yes, that is my fix for February. Let me know in the comments below what items you liked, what you didn't like. Again, not hurting my feelings. You can totally disagree with me on that like leopard print top. I don't know what it is. It just made me feel way older than I am. Special thank you to my patrons. You can help support the channel on Patreon while having access to videos early, viewing patron only content and more. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be because I don't know. Even though I do, this is just my shtick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you want to know when I upload and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys. <laughs>